So, in the last video, we have finally determined that P is the eigenvectors of A, and we have shown how to obtain, basically, an, an eigenvectors of A or an eigenvectors of any matrix using to using the fact that the determ you set the determinant equals zero. Okay, so after we get our P, let's go jump back. Go ahead and jump back to our train. So let's go back and recall what is our objective in the first place. So we want A to be P D P negative one. Or in other word, the matrix A is decomp decomposed as uh, matrix P times determinant D times P um, inverse. And we know that P is the um, collection of eigen uh, vectors of A. Um, so now let's go ahead and explore um, the final product. Okay. So now let's let's go ahead. After we got this. Let's go ahead and explore what is A if we take to the power of k. Okay. Which is this is very very interesting because you're gonna see a lot of interesting patterns. So um, to compute this, you can. Uh, Go ahead and substitute in a. So a is p d p negative one to power k. Okay. So this is just like mathematics. If you want to see the general patterns, you can start with k equal one, k equal two, k equal three, and then you build up. Okay. So I will write um that's block in k gradually to see the pen okay now let's start with k equal one okay so what do you have at k equal one nothing okay so you just have a equal to p to the power d p negative one okay so i'm, I'm just kidding we, we, we start with k equal two okay so why is k equal two at k equal 2, you get a square, a, in this case a matrix, okay, equal to p, d, p, negative 1, square. Okay, uh, notice something interesting. So let me explain it out, ex ex expand it out. So this equal to p, d, p, negative 1 times p, d, p, negative 1, right? And notice you can group these together. So you should get P, D, D, P negative 1. Or in other words, you get P, D square, P negative 1. Okay? So, um, yeah, because you have a matrix, um, an inverse matrix times the same matrix, time, times it matrix, you get an identity matrix, which is just matrix full of 1 and 0. And it's just like times 1 in... If you do it with the number. Okay. So similarly speaking, if k equal 3, let's see what we got. k equal 3, you got is equal to this. Right. Um, oh, let, let me rewrite it in a better way. So, so you get a to the power 3 equals p d p negative 1 to the power 3. So it would be p d p negative one to the power of two times p d p negative one. So we can substitute these in um, p d p negative one to the power of two, and we should get p d square p negative one times p d p negative one. This is p by the way, not d. I apologize for con uh, the confusion. And similarly, you can group these together and this become the identity matrix. Let me put it here. This become identity matrix I. And, or, or in other words, one. So you can say is equal to P, D, Q, D square, D, P negative one. And if you group these together, you get P, D, Q, P negative one. Okay. Um. So if you have you seen the pattern yet, so at k equal two we get p d square p negative one, 
um, at k equal 3, we get p d cubed p negative 1. So at, at, at any k, we get a to k equal p d k p negative 1. Yeah, this is what we have. Now, why this is significant? Because it turns out that when you take the di diagonal matrix, okay, and you cube it, it's way, way, way easier than just take A to power. So, yeah, if you all recall, what is D? D is the, eigen, the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues, right? So, the reason why we convert A to this, convert A to this, is because it is way easier, way easier to power a diagonal matrix. Or in other in other words, it's it's way easier to power to compute d k d to power k more than a to power k, and you see why in a minute. Um, okay, you see why in a minute. But uh, okay, let's. So we got this expression right here ready. Let's go back to the Taylor series expansion. And determine what's e to the power a. Okay, so go back to Taylor series definition. Okay, so what do you get? So e to the power of a. This is our goal. What this? Why? Why we make this video? is equal to the summation from k equals 0 to infinity a to the power of k, k um, factorial, okay? Um, so now a to the power of k, you can substitute this one in. So you go to summation k equals 0 to infinity of p d k p negative 1, k infinity. Okay, and you notice something re really, really interesting it. You, you notice something very, very interesting right here. Okay. You see. Um, notice, I'll, I'll group it for you so you, you see the pattern. So, um, so in here, that the interesting you can do is you notice that P does not depend on K. Okay, so. Notice. P or P inverse does not depend on K. So you can put it out. You can put it out of the sum. Pull it out of the sum. Okay, so you get something like this e to about a equal to I'm gonna put p l summation k equal zero to fifty um d to the power of k k in fifty and then p negative one and if you I can put a bracket right here it equal to p I'm gonna put a bracket Infinity. Okay. Summation from k equals 0 to infinity of e to the power k over k infinity p negative 1. And this one right here is p e to the power d p negative 1. Okay? Based on the definition of Taylor series. Based on the definition of Taylor series. Okay, you, you, you see that? So now, this is going to be our final, final expression. 
Um, so we finally invent a way to compute e to power of a matrix. So it will equal to a matrix P, which is the, um, what's this again? Which is the eigenvector matrix, eigenvectors matrix, okay? Times the exponential uh, exponential of the diagonal matrix contain eigenvalues. So exponential of matrix of diagonal, diagonal matrix of eigenvalue. And P minus 1, just the inverse, okay? So to show y'all what is so easy to calculate, let's take an example. Oh, uh, let, let me produce you an additional interesting reading. So you can... Um, look for more you can see the application so an interesting reading interesting reading you can look at is you can look at the kelly hamilton theorem to compute a to power of k Okay, this is a very interesting th th theorem. I think they, they kind of use a similar algorithm, but you can have some great insight. Okay, let's do one example and to, to show you all why this is so easy to calculate. Okay. Um, I'm going to start the example by giving you a diagonal matrix. I'm not going to start with you with A, but I'm going to give you a diagonal matrix and I'll explain to you why P times exponential exponential of a diagonal matrix times the p negative one inverse is easy so easy to com compute okay um so let's say d this is gonna look something like this one zero zero two Okay, so basically our eigenvector, we have two eigenvalues here. The first eigenvalue, lambda 1, is 1, and the second lambda, uh, eigenvalue, lambda 2, is 2. Okay, so 1 right here, right here. Okay, so why is d square? Okay, let's compute with me. Okay, so just matrix multiplication. 1, 0, 0, 2. So what you can do is you can apply the transformation of the left matrix to this first column vector. And then you apply it to the second column vector. So go ahead and do that. You don't have to memorize any formula. You can do 1, 0, 0, 2, apply it to 1, 0. And then same thing you can apply to, uh, apply 1, 0, 0, 2 to 0, 2. Okay, so what it will be? It will be um, this one will become um, uh, you apply uh, uh, 1, 0 to 1, and then you add 0, 2 to 0. Okay, uh, similarly with the other one, you get uh, 1, 0 to 0, to 0, and then you add. 0, 2, apply 0, 2, to 2. So what do you get? You get 1 square, and this is 0, 1 square, uh, plus 0 square. The other one you get uh, 0 plus 0, 0. Uh, the other, the, this one you get uh, 1 times 0 plus 0, and 0 square plus 2 square. Okay, let me write everything else so that is easier for you. This is 1 squared times 0 squared. This is 0 times 1 plus 2 times 0. 2 times 0. And this one is uh, 1 times 0 plus 0 times 2. Okay. This is 0 squared plus 2 squared. Okay. If you simplify it, you should get 1 squared, 0, 0, 2 squared. Okay, and by induction, you can show that. Uh, by induction, 
uh, it's a format approved. You can you can show that. You can show what you can show that. Um, d to the power of k equal to one to the power of k. <laughs> Bless me. Um, zero. Zero two to the power of k. Okay. Very very interesting. So, with this power powerful tool, we can find e to the power of d. So in other words, e to the power of one zero zero two. So let's go ahead and do that. So e to the power of one zero zero two equal to one e to the power of d equal to based on Taylor definition okay. zero with the D twelve K over K fifty. D over K we already have, which is this term right here. So we're gonna substitute in D to the power of K. Um I'm I will gonna I'm gonna go ahead and space it so uh, e equal to summation of K equals zero to infinity of one to the power of K zero zero to the power of K over k50 you understand so basically what i did is i substitute in d to the power k okay so let's because k to the power k factorial is a scalar you can put it in the matrix so k equals 0 to 50 uh, 1 k k50 0 0 to the power k over k and 50 okay you can uh, divide everything like you can divide this term by k k factorial. This term by k factorial. This term by k factorial. K, this term by k factorial. It's like when you divide matrix to a scalar. Okay, you just divide it, um, each component of the matrix that scalar. Okay, so, and it's a since it's a summation, you can put the summation in as well. So very very interesting. So you get equal to matrix of summation of k equals zero to fifty. Oh, one to the power k, k and fifty, and then summation of k equals zero to infinity of zero. Summation of k equals zero to infinity of zero, and then summation of k equals zero to infinity of two to the power k over k infinity. Okay, and you notice something very interesting. What is this term right here? Based on Taylor definition, based on Taylor series definition, that term. It's just e to the power one. All right, this is zero, this is zero, and this is e to e square. Okay. Wonder, wonder, wonderful. Very, very good. So from from that, now you can see we can compute e to the power of any diagonal matrix. Very, very easy. Okay, and then you can substitute in here and you can exponentiate almost all matrix. Okay. So that's very good so far. And in the next video, I will explain you a notation, which you see a lot of textbook. And that should be it for our series. Thank you, everyone, for your attention.